You're like a circle that floats around me Keeping me safe and sound And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me You're blessing me every day I was down with an illusion Like a sparrow with broken wings But now I shine with your reflection on me Getting back up on my feet That you showed up Was written in my palm You are a statement Explode like a bomb I get to push myself To victory You make me win You got me loose And set me free You make me win In every way You showed me how to spread my wings Yes, I'm the way International Horse Show and I'm absolutely so excited and we've just picked up our programs and I'm literally so excited. I've been spinning around and I nearly fell over. That's how excited I am. And I hope we are gonna get loads of stuff today, really nice stuff for me and Hattie and meet some celebrities on the way. So let's go. We're just going to enter the warm-up ring because it looks like those horses in there are so, so cute and cool. Let's go. Wow. They look so cool. Wow. Horses. One day I'd definitely like to be like that. Wow. They look so cool. Wow. All those horses look beautiful. These are all the military and police horses. They all look so shiny. Just, wow, they're so, so fancy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've just spotted the shopping village line. Let's go! We're here. Let's go inside. This place is massive. I don't know how we're going to work our way around here. Just got to go through the aisles, really. Stevenson Brothers are back again. I have no idea where to start. This is so much shops. Oh. Wow. We need to get um, Bertie one of those signs, I think. We should come back in a bit and get Bertie one. Oh, 
Oh, I know where we are now. We're just with James. I think we might need some new boots because my boots are have shredded. Wow, look at these boots. They're so beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, we need some new boots. Mine are shredded there and there. And they're just ripped tears, bits have been cut off. So definitely need some new boots and I know where we're gonna get them from. So now I'm just getting me fitted for some new boots, hopefully. Just gonna see if I've got a tune you to fit her. Okay. Bear with me, I'm not being rude, I'm on my stock list. I really love all the boots, all the bags, all the saddle pads, all the coats, just everything, it's really nice. I can't wait to see what these shoes look like. I'm just so excited. Oh, they're so nice. Tell me if it's too big in the foot or anything like that. Okay. Look around that way. Yeah, they need to be taller. Just if you go right there. Okay. I need to be up here, so I need to be a bit taller, don't I? Perfect. Um, <laughs> these are so cool. So I can go two centimetres smaller in the calves than yep. that which is an inch of fat and I think with her britches on how's that foot feel? Perfect. Is that perfect? Do you want it a bit bigger? Do you want a bit more room in the foot? Look how cool these are. Look at those. I love the snake skin on that one. So I've gone back to a four now. Yeah, be fine. Yeah, six pounds. And it will be an inch smaller than that. Okay, And yeah. I think with her britches on and the long socks, yeah. I think she will hopefully fill that up enough if it's the smallest I do. Yeah. Um, this is my favourite one. It's better than the rest. Have to order. So I do a 28 and a half. Yep. Could we go a little bit looser than that? Yeah, because once so I've got the jogs 30, on. I think that'll be good. And then yeah. the top would be 28, which will be there, enough to get a bridge out. Yeah, perfect. So 30 cars and height, let's see. Yeah. I can go up to 40, which is right up there. Okay, fine. Go as long as we can, don't you agree? Yeah, agree. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In a size 4. Where? Navy. navy. Navy, yeah. So really I think we should think of a navy top. Actually, um, that's a navy boot. Do you think a navy boot would be too much? I think it might be. Just yeah. But we could put something like that on the top. Yeah. yeah. Or I love this Greta top. You see oh, that wow. Greta top? That is yeah. really lovely. Um, and that looks nice on a black boot. The yeah, Greta lovely. looks really nice. So I'm going to show you that Greta which is over here. Is there. Wow. I mean, you might like that, I don't know. Yeah, I really like that on the you boot. like that one. <laughs> and then we've got some in here. Because I'm thinking we should match your blue. That's the one with the blue and the gold. Yeah, that's a cool one. That's really lovely. That's really and we could do copper gold stitching on that, and that yeah, would look like gorgeous. Them. And do you see the crystals? Yeah. Do them in that goldy colour. Wow. That would look really nice. I'll show you that on another boot. Um, what do you think of that, Phoebe? I really love that. Can you see we've done that sort of colour crystals? Yeah. So it would be like that with the crystals in this colour. Oh, definitely. On a black boot. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice, isn't it? Lovely. And see, so look how this. So we do that colour stitching, but on the black boot. Oh, yeah. yeah that would be lovely. What colour is your horse? Brown, by any chance? No. What Strawberry colour? roan. Strawberry roan. That's all right. That's brown yeah. colour, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Oh. Is, this is that on a black boot? Yeah, yeah, there we go. That's oh, Phoebe, that that's one. Lovely. Yes, definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely.
Well, the brown sole would be. Do you have what's, what colour is your tack? Brown. Let's go for a brown sole yep. on a black boot. Yep. So, like that. With those patterns. That's, that's the top. Those crystals in that colour, yeah? Yeah, definitely. I think that's right. perfect, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Debbie. I've had a really good experience of picking and choosing my boots. I hope they're going to be so cool. They will be. They will yeah. Be. Thank you very much, darling. Have no a problem. Day. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Bye. Mummy. Can we get one, please? Oh my god. You don't know what that people have bought you for Christmas. Look. Whoa. I love their new Christmas socks as well. They've got all of my favourite colours. Oh my gosh, Mummy, look. We have to get one. We need to get one. They're so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is like my dream Lemure set. I can't believe they actually have it. Wow. Just absolutely wow. Well, look at all these ear bonnets. And look at all the tack bags and the boot bags and all the show kits and there's so many saddle pads everywhere. It's just like a rainbow. So guys, I'm going to be buying this and it looks exactly like my horse Bertie, Bossy Boy, so and it looks exactly like him because he's got massive eyelashes. This one's got massive eyelashes and Bertie's got massive eyelashes. So this has been my dream since they ever came out to get one of these. And now I'm gonna get one. And this is gonna be my Christmas present from all my auntie and uncles that have sent me Christmas money. Thank you. Look how cool it looks. It's even got a little trailer. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I love Mochara. I love their new selection, all their trousers and jogging bottoms, and they look so, so cool. Oh look, these are like mine, the ones that I've got personalised with Hattie Wildcard Pony on the back. I just love everything. Oh yeah, these are their new leopard print ones. I think Mummy would love these, to me as she has a lot of leopard print trousers. And I love the sparkle mochara on them. Oh wow, these look so comfortable. I'm definitely going to put these on my Christmas list. Wow. I also love the leopard print on them. They're just so nice. Oh, I'd definitely like to have a look at Equiel now. <gasps> Before that, we have to go here. Oh my gosh, this is where we get the pony pick a mix. Let's see if they have any for Hattie. Oh, 
They have the pony picker mix. Let's definitely get some for Hattie. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be Hattie's Christmas present. So what you do is you grab a bucket, 10 pounds per bucket, and then you just pick and mix all the ones you like until the bucket is filled up. And then you pay the 10 pounds, and then it's a pony pick and mix for Hattie, or whatever pony you like. <laughs> I'm gonna start down this end first and then work my way up. I'm putting some corn treats in there and now I'm gonna put some herbal treats in there. Some pure apple. Strawberry. Hattie loves these strawberry ones. So I'll just put a few extras in there. Mint and banana here. Do mint first. Banana. Carrot and orange. Here's the carrot. I'm definitely going to share these with Bertie as well. Orange loops. Papaya and green apple. Here's papaya. Here's green apple. Alfala and, and cumin. Definitely had to get some licorice ones because um, Yashti is the plant that licorice is made from and ha that's Hattie. Um, name Black Black Hill Yashti and some banana, honey and cherry. Here's the cherry, honey, pineapple and herbal sticks, pineapple, herbal stick. Raspberry, coconut, and garlic. I think I might get Hattie some more of the honey because she likes honey. I'll just get her the ones that she absolutely loves. Some more licorice. And I'll get her a tiny, tiny bit more um, of the strawberry, which is over there. No, it is not. We need to fill it as hard as we can. I'll just get... I definitely think the lid will go on now. All done there. Yes, please. Thank you. I think Hattie's going to be working her way through that for the year. Thank you. Bye. Let me put this in this. I'll take this out first. I can put this in there. Actually. And I'll grab these. Put these many shops to see, look, and buy stuff from. And this is just a mix. The show hasn't even started yet, and it's just really, it's just already been amazing. Oh my gosh, pony are here. Wow! <laughs> oh my gosh! They've all, they've got the they've got stockings. They've got the dogs. They've got the stuff for the dogs. And crafty ponies are here as well. Wow! And oh my gosh! I love their backpack. Oh my gosh!
That's so cool. Wow. So, Holly Hopkinson's dad is a complete doofus. Mm. And he loses his job in London and the whole family have to go and live in a derelict farmyard with Grandpa who doesn't wash at all. Mm. And mad Aunt Electra who gives Holly a magic pocket watch with which she can hypnotise her parents and her teachers and get them to do anything she wants. That's but it cool. doesn't end well. <laughs> and uh, I've sort of written it for parents really as much as children. So half the jokes are for parents and half the jokes are for children. <laughs> um, and Holly has to learn to ride in book two. Um, that doesn't go very well either. But in the end, she does win the village race, which ends with ap apple bobbing in cow poo. Uh. <laughs> and she has to join Vinny's, this is her friend Vinny. Vinny has something called the bogey club. And to join the bogey club, you have to stick your finger up your nose and then go, mmm, nice bit of breakfast and eat whatever you found in your nose. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's pretty disgusting, really. <laughs> and that is, those are the super secret diaries of Holly Hopkinson. That sounds super uh. cool. Uh, and so it's really written to make your mum and dad laugh as well, you know. Um, there's some quite big words in it. Um, and let's see. So, and Holly makes up words. So, incontinent is lacking in self-control in your horse selections. <laughs> that sounds like you, baby. <laughs> it looks like a really, really good book. One day I definitely think I would love to have one of these horse boxes. They're like luxury. Wow, they're so nice. Could almost be a stable. That's how nice it is. Wow, look at the gold one. Wow. This would be really good for Hattie and Bertie because our trailer, trailers are bit small we can't fit everything we don't really have any space for tack or anything and this would be the perfect size horse box for us and I just absolutely love it it's absolutely brilliant wow I am at Stevenson Brothers Rocking Horse stand now and I'm actually riding Jade's favourite horse that she loves and well I'm so excited to show you soon that I've that I've got a Hattie rocking horse personalised. It's got her shoe, it's got a bit of her mane in her mane, it's got a bit of her tail hair in her tail. Oh my gosh, it's the exact same Hattie. I thought when I first saw it I was I was about to say, Mummy, why is Hattie doing what's Hattie doing here? Because it's so realistic, but I love this one, I love the pattern on it. It's just so beautiful. Look at that grain in the wood. Look how nice it looks. Can't believe they all started out as wood blocks and then they turn into this masterpiece. And look, this, is, this one's got brown tack. I think Hattie's got brown tack as well. I love its mane. It's so long. The luscious locks. If you're thinking about getting a rocking horse, don't go anywhere else. This is the only place you can get a perfect, perfect one. Because you can get either your horse, a pony, you can get massive size or small sizes like this. And it's absolutely brilliant. And there's such an art, like a, just a piece of art to have. And this one is incredible. I could just stay and rock here all day long. It also help. It also helps with backs. If you've got a really sore back, it helps with your back. Okay, I think I'm going to go and have a look at the performance now. I loved riding this horse. This is it's Jade's favourite. Jade loves this one. It's actually really pretty, and I love the saddle on it. It just makes it look like a real horse. Right, we're off now. We'll see you in a bit. Let me go and grab my stuff.
Okay, let's go. <laughs> this one looks like our uh, mummy's horse. Well, I kind of stole him from mummy, Bertie, oh, and I love Bertie. Loved, Bertie is that yeah. mummy's horse? Yeah, <laughs> Bertie Bot. Do you I love get to ride Bertie. No, he's our ex race horse, but we got him not long ago, so we haven't really had chance to. I haven't really had chance to ride him, and he's just a bit crazy, just a little tiny bit crazy. But I love the big That's eyelashes. Soft. That's seriously soft. The, the big. big they come in lots of different colours. Um, there's there's this one. Yeah, there's this one with, um, I think, which one is this? This is Sky. Mm -hmm. Then there's Freya, the kind of the bayish one with a tiny mark there. Then there's Flash with, I think Flash is the one with the Scoobold. And then I think... Yeah, Scoobold, we quite like Flash. But this is yeah. Skylar, so we thought Sky would maybe be... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then there's the dapple grey. I can't really remember that one's name. That's Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Sam. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. And I'm gonna be really, really nosy and see what else did you buy? What is that massively colourful thing in the bag? What is this? That is for my friend. That's um, I'm not gonna let my friend watch this video until oh. Christmas. Okay, well we'll, we'll cover it up. <laughs> yeah. So this is what we got her. Whoa. It's a ponyo saddle pad and it's the jungle the jungle that one awesome. then what else have we got in here we've got Hattie's yeah Hattie's new fleece Hattie's new fleece Lemure saddle half pad because um she she doesn't really she doesn't have one I think Bertie does but this one's really nice and in we also got that in that bag we also got that bag no, 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 the other bag. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. It's Ponyo bag. Hattie's got, Hattie's got the rug for it. I think you better hit the Lemieux stand, don't you? Yeah. Wow. And, and this looks like a really cosy yeah. jumper you got. Yeah, well. Lemieux. <laughs> you should also go check out Ponyo. They, this Ponyo. is what they own. Yeah, that's from Ponyo. They have saddle pads. You can get ones for Shetlands. So this is their backpack. So I've got the, that saddle pad, but it's not that design. It's the donuts design. And then that's why I've got this. And then... What did, what did I get in here as well? I got two books. <laughs> Have you left anything for us? That's the question. Mm, don't know. But yeah. in here I've got my Lemieux hat, uh -huh. my two programs, and these books are really cool. Yeah, we got these books because I don't really have a lot of good just good, nice books. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, thanks so much for showing us, Phoebe. That's awesome. No problem. Now we're going to have to go and try and find our own yeah. thing. Yeah. I think one of those is the, Yeah, the main stands to check out is Ponyo, Maxima, Lemieux. Are you remembering all these? Ponyo, Ponyo Kay. and... Ma Maxima. Maxima, okay. They, and, and... Lemieux. So the Lemieux is right down there. So down, down the aisles. Yep. You'll find your way. Ponyo, okay. if you go to the end there yep. and keep walking up along that end, you'll find Ponyo. You need a badge. I think we'll you need a badge. Yeah. And then down that aisle, if you keep going down there, then you can, I think it's either across there or go down and across. Okay. Then you'll find Maxima. Awesome. No problem. Oh my gosh, they've got all the, the Team London International merch. Let's go and have a look. Wow, they've got hoodies, jumpers, hats, bags, mugs, masks, rosettes. Wow. Mm. Oh wow, they've even got a saddle pad and a rug, baseball cap, bubble hat, tote bag, zuddy, hoodie. Wow, they've got a lot of stuff. I have to come back here later. I think we're going to grab some food now, seeing as we can't have any breakfast or lunch and then head off to the stadium area, area, wherever that is. So let's go grab some food. Oh my gosh, 
she's so excited to be telling me. come to the end of the day and this has been literally the most exciting day I've had since forever and I've just had such an amazing time here and you might have guessed something about my hat I've got here you might have guessed something about that something really really special but my highlights of the day has been meeting you guys meeting Charlotte Dujardin and also seeing Teddy the Shetland and also meeting loads of other gold um, Olympic medalists and that's just been so fun and I've just had an absolutely amazing amazing day and it's just been so magical and my favorite bit of the show I think was when the performer came on and did um, all the sh all the stuff with the horses and and he wouldn't even have to use a lead rope and it was just so cool I also love watching the dogs and the Shetland Grand National I just loved everything so thank you guys so much for watching my vlog and I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!